How's it going everybody, Ben from Budget Pokemon here and welcome back to a collecting on a budget video. In this one, I do have quite a few interesting cards, so without further ado, let's just jump straight into it with this Mew right here. The Mew Art Rare from V-Star Universe, one of my absolute favorite Mew cards recently. And this one is actually sitting at 5 euros. I remember this being kind of expensive when it first came out and then for a really long time afterwards it was sitting at like 20 to 15 euros or something. Good to see that this has calmed down substantially so everyone can afford this card. Um, over on the eBay side for you fan folks from the US. Um, we do have $8.20, it's a bit more expensive. Unfortunately, TCG Player does not allow you to sell Japanese cards as far as I can tell. So eBay will have to do. Still a great picker, I think as long as it's, as it's below $10. This is a really, really great card to get and add to your collection. I mean, it's a Mew. That should be more than enough reason to add it to your collection. Now for this video, I actually do have some groups up here. I do have certain art rares, I do have trainer gallery cards, special illustration rares, and then a few older cards on this one. First off though, we do have to continue with the art rares, and the next one is this Riolu from Scarlet EX, the first set from the Scarlet and Violet era, sitting at $3 or €3.40, Euros 40, an awesome pickup to be sure. Over on eBay though, it's once again a bit more expensive, not too much, unlike the Mew, sitting at $3.90, I think an awesome pickup. I really love this card. You can see the whole ground, or the whole um, room in the background, is in utter disarray. Everything is all over the place, and it looks like Riolo has just been caught red-handed, and the expression is like, wasn't me. No, nah, no, nah, wasn't me. I just love this card, really, really great stuff by the artist. Now, this Tyranitar is actually famous for being really, really expensive in English. If we just check the prices right here, we do have 18 euros for an English copy. Um, so I would just buy the Japanese one. Looking at the price, it's sitting at 3 euros 24, which is ridiculous. And for me personally, I don't really mind what language my cards are in, as long as I can see that beautiful, beautiful artwork. And... I mean, you save a lot of money if you buy this one in Japanese instead of English. Uh, once again on eBay, this is even closer to our EU prices. And we have one for $3.49 right here. Really, really cool stuff. Really love this illustration. Wish it was cheaper in English, but then again, I don't really mind since, you know, I do collect Japanese or whatever language I can find the cards cheapest in. Here we have the Nine Tails from Ruler of the Black Flame or Obsidian Flames. Um, the English version for this card isn't nearly as expensive as the Tyranitar. I think it's sitting at like 7 euros or something. Um, the Japanese version once again is even cheaper still at 2 euros 68. Really, really great pickup. Um, on eBay right here we have one for just below $3. And I think this is an absolutely beautiful artwork. I mean, look at this. This look, this kind of reminds me now seeing it more closely. It does remind me of Orient the Blind Forest for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why, probably because of the forest. Lovely, lovely stuff. Now the Groudon though, another card that is infamous for being very, very expensive right here for an English copy. I really wanted to pull this in my Raging Surf opening. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to. Um, it is sitting just below 6 euros for this card, so that is really, really great stuff. Over on eBay, we have one that's even cheaper for once, um, sitting at just below 5 dollars, and this is even the, the same seller as the as the Ninetales, so, you know, maybe you can find some more cards at this, or on this um, seller's store. You can buy a few more cards than just the, the Groudon. Still though, the Groudon is amazing. I mean, you know I do love Gen 3, and Groudon is like one of the best Gen 3 Pokemon. Lovely. Now, the last time I featured this birthday Pikachu, I think it was sitting at like 2 or 3 euros. Um, it has been picking up in price for a little bit right here, sitting just under 5 euros right now. But I still think even at that price, it is a great pickup. This card just... I got reminded of this card because I recently celebrated my niece's birthday. I was like, oh yeah, that card is the thing. 
Um, over on TCG Player, though, it is a bit more expensive, not too much, though, sitting at $5.56 for this one. And I think this should be in the co in your collection. If you if you don't have the original one, which is really, really expensive nowadays, pick up this one. It's the most one. You know what? Pick up multiple copies and then just give them away to your friend's birthday or something. If you have a friend that's re like really, really into Pokemon, which you will probably do, um, they will be thrilled if they receive this card on, cr or, um, on their birthday. I can guarantee it. I can absolutely guarantee it. Moving on to the next category, we only have two Trainer Gallery cards in this one. First one being the Mimikyu. I did remember that the Japanese Mimikyu was really, really expensive for for some time. I think it was sitting at like 40. Nowadays, it's sitting at like 15, 15 euros. Um, you might also be able to pick up the Japanese one right here. It's sitting at like 15 for an excellent copy or 20 for a near mint one. I do, I would recommend the English one though, since it's a bit cheaper for this one at 12 euros. Over on TCG Player though, I think it's even cheaper. Surprise, surprise. And um, I think with shipping sitting just below $10, which is an amazing price for this one. Lovely card, love the illustration. Now, the second and last card in the Trainer Gallery card category, we have this Zashian sitting at six euros for this one and over on TCG Player, sitting at $4.86. If you buy some stuff um, over $50, you get free shipping. We'll just take this one at $5.75 with shipping included. Either way, go. Either way though, you can't go wrong with this card. The illustration is Top notch. Not gonna lie, I love this illustration. Now moving it on to the special illustration rare category. This time around I only have one full art trainer card, believe it or not. Um, this time we're featuring Grusha from Paldea Evolved. An awesome, awesome illustration. And sitting at 10 euros over on TCG Player though. It is a bit more expensive, I guess $11 with shipping. $11.45 with shipping, yeah, so it's a bit more expensive, just not too much. I do really love this illustration from Dom, especially the Starlies in the in the foreground right here. The snow, the tree, the lights, this is super, super cool. Also, it looks like Grusha is drinking like a hot cocoa or something. The next special illustration is the Chi Yu EX, also from Paldea Evolved. This is actually a really, really cool card if you see it in person. Let me try to find a picture right here. So this looks super, super cool. Even the picture doesn't do it justice. It is illustrated by Akira Igawa, so maybe I'm a bit biased here. Seeing as Akira Igawa is like one of my favorite artists right now. Really, really lovely stuff. 14 euros for the English one on, on card market and then over on TCG player. I guess also $14 with shipping included. And I really, really like this illustration. I This is, I think... In my opinion, this is the best of the, like, four kind of legendaries or whatever they are. I haven't really paid attention to Scarlet and Violet. Um, but there you go. I think this is the best illustration out of the four. Next up, we have the Iron Valian from Paradox Rift, sitting at 20 euros, a card that I still need for my collection, but I haven't managed to pick it up yet. I probably will someday, but you know, I've got other priorities for certain cards right now. Um, over on TCG Player, though, it is a bit more expensive at twenty six dollars. Um, the price has fallen drastically. Look at look at the price drop of this one. It was sitting at like seventy dollars and then sixty, and now it's dropped all the way down to twenty six. In my opinion, it's still a good price to buy it at at this point. Maybe you might be able to stick it out and wait until it's it's fallen below twenty dollars. If it ever does fall below twenty, I'd pick it up immediately. The card is super, super cool in my opinion. Next up we have the Altaria EX, also from Paradox Rift. The background of the card is just as beautiful as the Pokemon itself. Maybe even more so. Really, really great stuff. Let me just show this card, like, really up close. Or like a bigger picture right here. This looks really, really cool. You have like this this coastline in the background right here. You have the wing golds here flying together with the Altaria. Man, this is such a cool illustration. And I'm not just saying that because it features a Gen 3 Pokemon, I promise you. I actually do believe this is like one of my top five special illustration rest of the Scarlet and Violet era, I'm not gonna lie. This is an absolutely stunning illustration. Over on TCG Player, though, a bit more expensive, but it is sitting below that magical, magical 
below $20 mark, which is, I think is a great price for this one. I think the story is similar with the Iron Valiant though. You might be able to stick it out and get it for below $15 if you just wait long enough. But in my opinion, even at $20, this is well worth the price. So the next category of cards are like old school EX cards, but not quite old school enough that they reach back to the Ruby and Sapphire era. Yeah, I know. I got to work on the title for that group. I know. Um, this one, though, um, unfortunately, this is not cheap in the EU. As you can see by the prices right here, we do have one for 35 euros. This is way too expensive in Europe. Um, I wouldn't advise buying it at that price, even though the card is super, super beautiful. I do actually have this one for my God of War page in my binder. Really, really awesome stuff, but I think it's it's a bit too expensive in Europe. Over on TCG Player, though, you are in luck because a lightly played copy can be had for just below $23 with shipping. And I think a lightly played copy as just a binder copy is good enough for this card. I think a Nearman copy, like the price hike isn't justified in my opinion. I mean, by all means, if you really want a Nearman copy, go for it. $32, that's not too bad. That's still cheaper than, than um, European prices. Look at this. But honestly, I think a light played copy is good enough for for this one as a binder copy and i i did say lovely illustration of course illustrated by mitsuhiro arita maybe that's why i like it so much another ex card that is a bit cheaper um than the guard of war ex is the alakazam ex from fates collide this is also a really really cool illustration it does feature more pokemon than just the guard of war we do have an umbreon here we have lugia in the background and 30 euros for an excellent, excellent condition, which is like, I think, light plate as translation to the US standards. Um, light plate copy for 30 euros, which I think is a good price. Um, unfortunately, he's from the UK, so you might have to pay some taxes and shipping might be, might be kind of expensive. Um, right here, TCG player, though, light plate copy. Look at the price of this one, $15.30. I mean, if this looks clean enough on the front and just has a bit of whitening on the back, this would be an awesome, awesome card to have in the binder. Once again, illustrated by Mitsuhiro Arita. He's really, really killing these with these old school, but not quite as old school cards that they go back to the Ruby and Sapphire era. I do apologize for the group title, but that's just what the group title is. Really, really great stuff. Next up, though, and like we're going, we're getting to the end right here. We do have the Ho Oh EX. Now, this is not a how do I call it? It's not an alternate art or secret art rare. I actually don't know the terminology of these ones specifically. Um, maybe secret rares is the right term. Yeah, that makes sense because they are golden, like the border is golden, secret rares. This is just a normal one. Um, but the card itself, though, like the colors really pop and that texture, man, look at this. Look at the texture of this one. This was back when the texture, when you could actually see the texture on the Pokemon cards, at least on English ones. You know, on Japanese ones, they're still as fine as ever. Um, a Japanese card would probably look even crazier than this. But still, this one looks absolutely insane, right? This looks really, really good. Over on TCG Player, though, a near mint copy for $10. I guess he has 0% zero, zero fee pay, so maybe don't buy from him. Um, anyways, $12.37, shipping included. $12.37 for this one. Are you serious? That's once again so much cheaper than compared to a near mint price in Europe. Man, oh man, this is an awesome card. Now, two more cards that we have right here are GX cards, and these are actually promos. Once again, unfortunately, I wouldn't recommend buying these if you're in, in Europe. Um, as you can see right here, the prices are absolutely ridiculous at 45 euros, even though the card is, is really, really cool. Um, over on TCG Player, though, it is quite a bit cheaper. We do have one for $22.99, but you do have to pay $5 in shipping. Um, we do have one for $27 or zero reviews. Um, Maybe you can find one. I mean, this is just below 30 and it also has pictures so you can you can see the card, which is great. I think every TCG player or seller should do this. Add some pictures so the centering is horrible. Um, we mustn't look at the centering too much. 
maybe you can find a different copy. Um, if you can find one below $30 though, I think that's a great pickup. Maybe even a similar to the Gardevoir. Try to go for a light play copy. I didn't go it f here though, because the prices aren't that much different between Near Mint and Lightly Played. So just pick up a, a good looking Near Mint copy and you'll be very, very happy. Of course, there is a counterpart to that one. It's the Espion and Deoxys GX, which is quite a bit cheaper in Europe, probably because Umbreon isn't nearly as popular, or Espion isn't nearly as popular as Umbreon. Um, still a bit too expensive in my opinion. Over on TCG Player though, it is about $10 cheaper. We do have one for $20.49, shipping included. Really, really, really cool card. And I think the card has actually been picking up. I mean, it was at a high right here and then it's been going down. Ah, maybe not. Who cares? It's an awesome artwork and I think... I think if you can find one for like near $20, it's a really, really cool pickup. And well, I guess that does it for this video. This video was longer than I had originally anticipated, but I just have so many cards that I need to show you so you can save some money and still have some awesome cards. Um, anyways, if you enjoyed this video, then please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy it, then by all means, give it a dislike. Tell me in the comments below what you didn't like so I can try to fix that for future videos. Other than that, right here is a video that YouTube thinks is best suited for you. Right here is the subscribe button, click the subscribe button first and check out this video or check out any of the other videos in the description below. And hey, I hope I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Peace, peace. Take care.